So top priority for this build is crowds. Uh, otherwise, I would like to get a hard light afterburner. Yeah, I don't know why they don't allow you to select lower eclipse levels. I hope they add that eventually. There is a mod that lets you uh, do Eclipse multiplayer though. So you can just like, if you can get everyone to install that, uh, you can choose Eclipse levels as a like selectable thing. Like Monsoon or Rainstorm, it's just the same. I do want that healing drone. Probably come back for it. Like now? Slicing Winds is fun. Doesn't really matter how good it is. But once this run gets going and there start being like actual crowds of enemies, you'll see how this build works in particular. Oh, I didn't have a charge, I guess. Wow, I keep missing. But Slicing Winds is definitely just kind of nice for like Mithrix. It's safe for that fight. I like Eviscerate too. I just think that all alt is just fun. Like, but the thing is, you'd rather be looping on it. Because, like, you'll absolutely destroy in loops. But Mithrix will be hard. So what I might do is I might loop, you know, loop once, kill Mithrix after looping. The only thing this build lacks is movement. But I do find that for the Mithrix fight, I do get a little less greedy, which keeps me alive. So I guess that's also kind of a good thing. Maybe I'm just better this way. But I think the chaining exposed is pretty fun. some speed. Yep, there's some speed. Cool. Yeah, the artifact grind is a little long. But technically, once you have the codes, you can knock them all out in one run, I guess. Kind of nice. Just searched them up. That's fair. I actually really enjoyed finding them. Oh, I do not have charge.
Mean speed. This build is worse at dealing with sky garbage. Which is unfortunate, but hey, what are you gonna do? Honestly, the turtle is not bad for this build either. They kind of took a bad angle for that. Hey, that's good movement, actually. Yeah, I feel you on that. Having to do the... Uh, the map for them so many times. That was before I started cheating, I think, uh, for unlocks. So I did do all of the... Uh, all the artifact map things. I just did a bunch of them in one run, though. It wasn't that bad. Pretty easy. But I feel like that's a very similar type of tedium to uh, to all the stuff they added in, in Repentance for Isaac. Like, it's just a similar like, yeah, I get it. I've done this before. Yeah, it's a little different this time, but I, you know, I get it. <laughs> I've done this. I mean, you can say the same about Isaac. The characters are different. They have mechanics. The pads are different enough. You know, there's like substantial difference in each run. So many items, you're not going to have the same run. It's still a little tedious to just, you know, run through it. However many art times there are artifacts, but also just, you know, 34 times for the Isaac characters, for example, for every goal. I think I did the, uh, I think I did all of the artifacts on Monsoon, because that's just the kind of guy I am, I guess. But really, all you need to do is loop for a little while for one run, and then you just keep going back every, every loop. Get one done, boom, soon finished. Ooh, a backup mag, that's a good printer. Alec Ben, thank you for the 19 month sub. Thanks so much. Keeping the prime here. I appreciate that. Good to see ya. Oh, I mean definitely. Doing all the unlocks on lower difficulty just makes sense. Like, that that's just what any sensible person would do. Fine, you get it on your own. Yeah, if you just want to get the unlocks, then yeah, there are only two and skins that require Monsoon, so do them all on Drizzle. Yeah, 
too slow. There's so many printers. right off me. Except I felt it. So the problem with this build is really the early game. It's just really slow. It's not bad, it's just slow. That went straight through you. Because there aren't enough enemies to feed your cooldown addiction when using a ton of exposed debuffs. So you just kind of wait. The Gouge and I have had a disagreement or two. But I guess they nerfed the uh, spawns from it, so maybe I should start taking it again. Like, especially on this character, I, Gouge, probably the way to go. Like, I thought it was fun, but it was just a terrible idea every time. Now it's probably fine. I don't know, Divine Overseer. Yeah, I mean, there's really no reason to ever go fight Mithrix. If you just want to, like... If you're not playing Eclipse, you just want to do a run. I would obliterate 10 times out of 10. Okay, that's pretty lazy. Too lazy to copy paste into your save file, <laughs> so you need to save editor. That's that's pretty lazy. I just leave my save file open in Notepad++. So when I open that, it has that and some other document open. Again, with the boss that's not in the zone. I mean, that's just a simple, like, Google or go to the Risk of Rain subreddit or whatever. Uh, this guy is fine. I need to replace him or, you know, scrap him before we fight Mithrix, but if we're looping, then that's not going to be that soon. I'll scrap him in whatever my, like, second opportunity is. Yeah, I, uh, I've finally started cheating uh, Lunar Coins as well. I stocked up 500 and then I spent them all. I 
I'm too addicted to rerolls. Though now that I've done the stuff I need to or want to on the heretic, I don't exactly, I keep trying to kill my friend. Uh, I, I don't exactly spend nearly as many as I used to on rerolls. But I just wanted to do a couple heretic runs real quick. I mean, that's kind of the thing. I don't spend Lunar Coins generally. Until now, with Heretic. Can't ping them to know anymore. It's tragic. However, if we find a, uh... Oh yeah, I should like, go here. I don't remember why, but I'd remember if I saw it. Anyway, if there are any lunar pods, I will hit that up. Yeah, it's funny, yeah. You could get unlimited tonic every time if you wanted to. One bizarre. It's just a matter of patience and how many powers of two you've edited your uh, Lunar Coin count to be. Artificer is more fun when you turn into anyone other than Artificer, in my opinion. But technically, Captain is the best character to turn into Heretic as. Somehow I still have 165. So I do want all these crowd control items. It's good stuff. Ow, I'm gonna leave. Captain giving drones microbots is the character, not the item. I didn't know that. But I mean, having microbots still makes Captain the best heretic becomer. And also that, like, most of Captain's skills are useless. So why not? Replacing most of them are... It's just fine. Pretty much you could take the second, third, and fourth skill replacements for Captain. And it's never a problem. As long as you take Visions last, becoming Heretic is, like... Purely the way to go. 
I'll just keep this. I mean, if you want to play without Captain's first skill, sure, but it's, like, the only skill that you need on that character. The character is, like, not very interestingly designed in any way. It's just that your first skill is stupid overpowered. That's it. That's the character, you know? Yeah, I took hooks so I could go back to the cleansing pool. See what we get. Oh well, I tried. My inability to get the Irradiant Pearl was really funny. But yeah, Cleansing Pools are super rare. Oh look, it's not a Dune Strider. Whoa, where are you going, buddy? My life. Anyway, crowds. Am I right? Yeah, but I don't remember where the equipment barrel or the uh, equipment drone is, and I just, it's fine. I'll have some water. Nice. Throat is killing me today. So far. Uh, well, I don't need any of that. That's not hard light afterburner. That's what I was here for, I remembered. I want hard light afterburner. And honestly, I would trade all of my greens for that. Be just fine with it. Yes, the microbot is affected by attack speed. Sundered Grove again. I mean, okay, this is good because crowds. 
And that's the build. One thing about this, like, I feel like I always have my fourth skill, but I really just never have my third skill. Dying here. I haven't made very much money, unfortunately. Wait for it. Here it is. Oh, nice. Got him. Ah, get off of me. All right, you gotta go. And you gotta go. <laughs> the final boss who is infamous for not being a crowd. Uh, well, the secret is that I loop until I become really powerful because looping is really easy. This is, yeah, this is really accurate. This too, it's just it's how things sit. There's a scrapper. But really, if I just loop for a while, or even once probably, until I become, okay, 4604, that's so much cheaper than the last time I was here, that's funny. Uh, I'll get powerful quickly. Two scrappers. Always Clay Doomstrider. Did I miss? I did. I just clipped through that. Like, anyone else see that? Not just me? I got Dead God. There was just an item that wasn't on page four or five that I didn't know about, because why would a new item be on an old page of the item collection? Anyway, I collected that item. That was it. I was collecting those like specific weird items that aren't on the collection uh, pages because I didn't know about that item. down here now. I want to go back, though. Oh, 
Honestly, the spawn rate here is disappointing me. Wow, that sent me way higher than I expected it to. It's fine. Ow. Like I said, I will probably... It'll be a soft goal of mine to kill that enemy. Or alternatively, you can probably just die to them, which is like a lot easier to do than killing them, a lot less specific. You can probably just die to them and they'll be in your uh, vestiary. Like, <laughs> we're locked on to an idea that we don't necessarily need to be locked on to. Euthanasia should work as well on them. Uh, it probably doesn't have to be Chaos Card. Because, like, Euthanasia worked on enemies that were protected by the, um, like, shieldy pillar dudes. And those shields look exactly the same as the, um, summoner dude's shields. So I would imagine that it would work. Uh, it's the enemy that summons the one boss on Mausoleum. Uh, there are the five of them at the start of the fight. And they are invincible, and then they despawn immediately after they finish, like, starting the boss fight for you. That's the enemy. Well, no, again, I think you don't have to kill it. You have to kill or die to it, probably. I, yeah, I assume you just run into them and they hurt you, probably. I could be wrong, though, in which case maybe you do have to, like, actually chaos card or... Uh, euthanasia or whatever. I don't know about Eraser. That might work too. Ow. I don't want to do the third skill up here. But I will anyway. Okay, thank you. All I wanted was to kill this guy now. Yeah, it's pretty weird that you don't just, like, get them for beating the boss or even really encountering the boss since they despawn themselves. Oh, I did the thing. Uh, I did not mean to do the thing, but I did the thing. Push that vagrant right into the wall. Ooh, that looked like it could have could have done the thing too. It didn't though. I'll hide over here. Not another squid polyp. Yeah, I, I also miss when slamming was more consistent. 
Few things are more satisfying than like playing basketball with a robo ball, you know? Squid Polyp is probably the worst item in this ring, too. So it's definitely not the best item. But I don't know what the best item would be. Do I? Maybe it's obvious. Shatter Spleen is real good. Best item, though? I'm not sure. Uh, was there another? There was a second Scrapper, but I don't remember where, so I'm just gonna handle this now. Tri-tip Dagger. Yeah, that's pretty up there, too. I wouldn't pick Ukulele, because it doesn't help for Mithrix. Clover, you could definitely make a case. But of course, if it's the only... Like, if you only get one item, is the only item you'd take the best item? Probably. And then even in that case, it, it wouldn't... You wouldn't pick... Uh, you wouldn't pick Tri-Tip Dagger in that case. <laughs> if you only get one item and you just get a ton of behemoths, that's an option. Ah. All right, that's how you save it. <laughs> that's how you save it. going. Okay, whatever. Live your life. This is not an ideal scenario, though. It's becoming more ideal as time passes, though, because there are more enemies now. Sadly, I'm not really dealing with those those bells at all. Help me out. You did not help me out. Not the item I needed. I mean, is there an item that's just like universally useful, helps you live, and helps you like kill? Just, you know, an item that does it all. Oh! Goodbye! Man, that was like a really energetic one, too. That's gotta be a different one. <laughs> yeah, that one's way out in space. I like that I still get to see its exposed debuff forever, though. Oh, I fear you.
Anyway, I made $6,000 while I was there. Radiant Pearl. Uh, you know, I guess that does do all that stuff. If you only take one item and you just stack a Radiant Pearls forever, you'd probably win pretty easily. And just one, though? I don't know how big of a difference just one makes. I mean, I would definitely never scrap it. Or, like, desire trading it away. So, I mean, it's pretty good. What's something that's always good at one, but is always good at an infinite stack, too? It's an interesting thought. Healing drone? Also healing drone? Yeah, you can get hit in Volcanic Egg. You do have a hitbox, and you can die and everything. Ugh. Oh god, there's so many of them now. No, get away from me, Water Dad. <laughs> Holy moly, this is a this is a convention. If ever I did see one. That was a terrible throw. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I think Behemoth is an incredible stack. It stacks for radius, doesn't add damage or anything. I mean, sure, that does mean that you'll be attacking everything on the map at some point. Oh god, I'm not okay. I'm gonna leave. ATG. ATG is a really good item. And the stack is incredibly good that that's a solid pick I mean if you get enough ATGs it doesn't really matter that it's only a 10% chance it'll kill anything that it, that it goes for right It's still out there. Ah! How dead are you? You're pretty dead. Okay, good. There are two out there? I don't think so. Whoops. I want to iterate and reiterate that just jumping out there like that would kill me. <laughs> so I, I got a don't. Meat Hook is a bad stack, though. Kind of. Because Meat Hook spreads the damage out, doing less per enemy per stack. So it's less per enemy to more enemies. I don't know if I think that's, like, a good one. It's a great item.
I do not see a second one out there. Oh, that that's weird. When I look at it, I guess that one's farther away. Syringe on its own actually, like, isn't good enough. Uh, I did, at one point early on, replace all of my white items on Commando with syringes. I had 96 of them. And I couldn't, even with, um... Even with the, uh, leeching seed, I could not... I could not win. I could not keep up. that'd be any different now with the buffed commando because i mean this was like real real early with the new primary maybe that'd be better but I gotta go. I don't know who set me on fire, but I didn't like it. Okay, these guys are just kind of like cool down for me. Oops. I don't feel so good. There are too many contraptions. Just kind of delete my health bar. Also, I should get rid of some of the Patrick mushrooms. Crowbar would be a good one. Especially since they buffed it, I guess. Like, it's, it's okay at one. But at infinity, technically, you one-shot everything. Uh, some characters use it better than others, but, I mean, if you're getting a ton of them, I guess everyone uses it pretty well. So in a vacuum, there are some there are some infinite damage items that are definitely good choices. When considering more about the game as a whole, harder to say what the best is. But yeah, there are items that would safely give you infinite damage and make any run pretty easily winnable. So those are a type of best. Not a practical type of best, though. Radiant Pearl is like a pretty solid pick, but like you never see it. Uh, I, I don't like this.
couldn't get to it anyway. Oh, goodbye. I did not have another jump. I could have used my second skill, though. Oh, right, they did increase the chance for a Radiant Pearl, didn't they? It's 25% now, isn't it? That's, like, huge. Twenty percent? Okay. That's still huge. Because before it was four percent. I would like my healing. Take me out of here. So now there's like a lot more stuff. So the build works a little better. Yeah, they made it so you can't check by pinging, but that's fine. Uncomfortable with that. Leave me alone. Sure, I'll take an emergency drone, except I'm poor. Never mind. That would be a good printer. Uh, if there's a scrapper here, maybe we'll, like, do that. Because just stacking a ton of boss damage is, like, big stuff. Gasoline, funny. Oh, this is really un unpleasant. Yeah, no, I don't wanna I don't wanna be seen by you guys. Malachite hit. Okay, that is not available. I think it's time to leave. That is true. Rose Buckler is the best item because the moving turrets wear them as hats. Hard to argue with that. That's just an objective fact. Ow, dude. So the problem here is, first off, you gotta go. How did I miss? 
All right. No scrapper. I feel like the chance of my death is rather high. I'm not getting all that carried, basically. Whoops. I made a very bad choice. I'm gonna leave. Oh, look who it is. It's everybody. Oh, I'm in a corner. It's bad here. Heels, please? Oh, I didn't grab this. Not that I like... <laughs> Not that that's gonna be the difference maker. Dang, man, those things hurt. This is nice. I know, my dashes are taking me so far, I really am just gonna clip and fall to my death. And that'd be a sucky way to go. You know, it's a good thing I kept all these turtles, though. They're making a pretty big difference in my survivability, I would say. Get me out of that. Oh, this is bad. Good thing there are, you know, eight million healing things here. Desk plant, terrible item, by the way. Worst red. If only this happened on Mythrix, though, then it would actually just be so great. But obviously, for this scenario, it is, like, the best red I could have. Scrap. I'm gonna go grab that emergency drone though. Why not? Uh, H is probably really is the worst red, but if I had it in this situation, it would be good too. I feel that way about a lot of red items. Disappointed they're not this other fun red item. But they're still good. Man, I take so much damage so, like, instantly all the time. even. Okay, this is a dumb idea. I should not be going in for that Rose Buckler right there. Oh, I missed the... Whatever, I got speed. I wanted the crit. I mean, I already have 50%, so I guess it's fine. 55%. Oh, hey, dude. Oh, get away from me. Malachite, like, really makes me uncomfortable. 
got to pick my angles carefully, you know? Ouch. Every hit hurts me so badly. I should make a genuine effort to go get Transcendence, I guess, maybe. But then the desk plant becomes worthless. I mean, that's still probably fine. Oh, you disgust me. Oh, this is getting nasty. Meat Hook is incredibly good. Meat Hook is great crowd control. It can proc stuff. It groups enemies for you. It does pretty okay damage. Like it, it's just, that's just an item right there. It is a capital I item. Too bad it's not, you know, good for Mithrix. Nothing to activate on. Okay, crowd's coming to me. Wait, did I see something over here? I think I just clean missed everybody with that, but that's chill. Okay, who's Malachite and why? <laughs> why is the important, like, question here? Okay, I see it. I love that everything everywhere is exposed. Yeah, a lot of items really do just fall in the useless on Mithrix thing. There's a category that is very prominent in this game. Oh, that's... get away from... oh, gotta go. Oh, I thought I got hit by the Malachite. Something else owned me. Running away, running away. It's true, they should have made Mithrix just better. <laughs> well, I don't like that. This is nice. Yeah, I agree, uh, pretty much. This whole part that I'm doing here with the mobbing and the building for how to deal with absurd crowds of stuff is great. And then Mithrix is completely counter to that. Like, the entire purpose of that fight is to completely contradict everything else that you would want to build for. If you're fighting Mithrix in loop one, it's not as huge a deal. But if you want to loop, your build is completely different from Mithrix. There's no way around that. Oh. Getting more crit, which is good. I can't, like, get all this stuff for a while. Oh, 
Oh, I'm not feeling too hot. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this now. I know my frame rate is pretty low, down to 70. Wow, I just melted. Me, I am the one who melted. Not the enemies, not any anything other than me. I'm I am dead. This is pretty gross. Like there's too much Celestine here. I'm not sure what the proper course of action is for me to take. Besides, win slowly. Wow! Wow, look in there. That is a lot of tendrils. Is that gonna do, like, big damage to, like, big everyone? I'm gonna do that one time, and I'm just going to explode. Like, I have no doubt about this fact. I don't know where anyone is. Oh, they've all spread out. Cool. I, I need a Dune Strider? Yeah, that's what I need, actually. My god, dude, the frame rate just absolutely destroyed. Slowly, we are doing something. What exactly? I couldn't really tell you. Try and get in there a little bit. That was pretty risky. Take a little bit of healing. Man, this is disgusting. I am slowly killing the boss. The problem here is uh, I want to get that lunar coin now. And that's gonna cost me my life, but I think it's worth it. Got it. Come on, you're like about to die. Alright, we've defeated the bosses. There's still too much garbage going on that I also can't see at all. Hey, this is nice. Like, who knows what any of this stuff is? Not me. There is a Dune Strider in there, I guess. Still one of the ones that I left alive a while ago. I fear the presence of, you know, anything Malachite. That would be pretty unfortunate for me. I really, really wish we... Oh, I forgot to go to the bazaar. I've been, like, trying to get myself to go to the bazaar. Oh, this is bad. 
Because what I need in my life is a uh, hard light. <laughs> I really need a hard light afterburner. No, the Malachite spikes are not invisible because of Celestine enemies. That would suck. It'd be cool if I had more jumps, too. Like, honestly, my build just ain't great. I'm lacking a lot of very nice things. And a lot of, like, even moderately nice things. Like, imagine how much better I'd be doing if I had a, uh... Oh, really? Must you? A cube? Uh, meat hooks? Wisp? Uh, hard light afterburner? Yeah, but I have five med kits. Yeah, I know. I'm dead. I am not dead. I'm completely and fully alive. Still just completely, totally, entirely alive. There's no danger here. Oh, okay. I'm going to stay away from that. Please don't touch me. I know, Rex is so good. Rex is just the best. Uh, I would like you back. Rex just has a complete kit. You could like get away without items. Emergency drone heals you for, like, a lot if you reach critical health. It's not great at its job, because it, like, takes a while to decide that it's time to heal you. But it heals you for a lot pretty quickly if it does decide that it's time. No item run when? Uh, never. Just saying, I think it's, like, possible, practically, with Rex. It's gonna hit a lot. But, like, I have... Pretty much no damage here. And I'm fine just because this build just works. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm dead now. <laughs> Got greedy in the ice enemies. 